Hi everyone, I am Dr. Preeti Rastogi. I am head of the department and director in Ops and Gaini department at Madanta Hospital. Welcome to FitTuck. Today we are going to talk about the hormone replacement therapy, the pros and cons of the hormone treatment, replacement treatment for the menopausal symptoms. Hormone replacement treatment or therapy is a treatment which is used to replace the hormones which are going to be deficient at certain period of time in somebody's life. In particularly, today we are going to talk about the hormone replacement treatment at menopause. So as you might be aware that uh, with menopause, the ovaries reduces the production of estrogen and progesterone Sometimes ovary also stops working, so the body is deficient in the estrogen and progesterone hormone. So the women might suffer from different symptoms like uh, hot flushes, mood disorders and sleep disturbances. These are the indication to start somebody on the hormone replacement treatment. So there are different ways that the menopausal symptoms can be managed. Sometimes we advise that to start with the non-hormonal uh, options like the lifestyle changes which includes regular exercise, most commonly the weight bearing exercise which improves your mood changes and is good for your bone density as well. Then we also advise to start few supplements like the calcium and the vitamin B3 which is good for bone. If somebody is not relieved with this and the menopausal symptoms like hot flushes, mood disturbances and the sleep disturbances are really bothering somebody, then that's an indication that we should consider starting the hormone replacement treatment. As the body is going through the deficiency of the estrogen and progesterone hormone, these hormones then help to re replace these uh, deficiency and helps to improve these symptoms. When we start somebody on the hormone replacement treatment, we expect to, to see the change or the result, I would say within four to six weeks. It's being seen that the women who are on HRT, they really can appreciate the changes in the body or the changes in their or improvement in their menopausal symptoms. And uh, they are quite happy to be on the hormone replacement treatment because they can see that there's a definite change in their lifestyle. So the hormone replacement treatment should be always started uh, after a clinician consultation. So at the consultation, the doctor is going to assess you about the different risk factors, about your medical history. And then accordingly, uh, the doctor is going to discuss with you what are the better option or the best option with you. So there are few risk factors which needs to be considered or to be kept in mind while we are considering to start the hormone replacement treatment is uh, any history of any blood clots in the past, any history of any heart disease and anybody who is at a risk of uh, developing breast cancer or anybody who is at risk of developing endometrial cancer. So these are the different factors which we need to keep in mind before we decide to start the hormone replacement treatment. So as we have discussed that before we decide to start the hormone replacement treatment, we should carefully evaluate the women and in careful evaluation, the different factors which we consider is their age, how bad the menopausal symptoms are, what is the effect of these menopausal symptoms on the life or the quality of the life, what are the medical history. Is there any uh, history which is suggestive of not to start the hormone replacement treatment? So these are the different points which we need to keep in mind. Then whenever we start the hormone replacement treatment, then we need to keep the women under observation or you can say close follow up. There are few tests which we want to do before we start the hormone replacement treatment, which is like pap smear, mammography, lipid profile to check that the all these things are under control 
and then we would like to see the women every six months or yearly to see that how they are feeling and also to repeat this test. So there are different options which are available which we call as uh, non-hormonal uh, treatment or alternative treatment for the uh, menopausal symptoms. The indication to start these treatments are anybody who is not keen to start the hormone replacement treatment, anybody who has a contraindication where we cannot give the hormone replacement treatment and sometimes we also prefer that the women should try these uh, alternative treatment before we actually start on HRT. So the alternative to HRT are, first of all most important is the lifestyle changes. So we advise women for uh, regular exercise which is mainly weight bearing exercise, healthy eating, uh, keeping yourself engaged and regular yoga. So all these things they help to improve your health, they are good for your bones. And when you are engaged in exercise, then the body releases good substances called endorphin, which improves your mood and also helps with your sleep disturbances. Sometimes there are other alternative like uh, black cohosh, uh, which is used for the improvement of symptoms. We also advise uh, phytoestrogen, which somebody can also get into the soya. So soya is said to contain the natural estrogen in a very small amount and that also sometimes help the women with these menopausal symptoms. There are few supplements which can be given. There are micro elements and the minerals which helps in the menopausal symptoms. And last but not the least, there are different medicine which can be used for the vasomotor symptoms like if somebody has a severe hot flushes but we are not able to start them on the proper hormone replacement treatment then we can start them on the different category of the drugs which is called SSRI and they sometimes improve or help with the vasomotor symptoms.